Okay, we're here in the Beko kitchen. What are we going to be doing today? Right, so we've got uh, a fish curry on the menu. So we're using yep. monkfish. Okay. So nice, cheap alternative. Yes. Uh, really meaty fish, so it's not going to fall apart in your curry. So a great one to, uh, to cook. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we're doing a Thai curry as well. So it's not it's not like an Indian curry with lots and lots of spices in there. So it's going to be lighter, fresher, and it's going to be flavoured with some tamarind. Nice work. Jeez, the, the monkfish, when it's, you know, actually a fish, it's the ugliest looking fish ever. So I'm pleased. The picture right there. <laughs> yeah. And that's a pretty picture of it. Okay, sounds delicious. Can't wait. We'll get into this very soon. Great to have you with us. We are here in the Beko kitchen today. We have got Thai curry on the menu. Let's get going, Mark. Right. So, some spices. Yes. Well, coriander seeds. Yeah. So, pop them in. Dry mm -hmm. pan. Keep okay. it over medium heat. We're going to toast them, bring out the flavours. We'll give them a light crush, and then that's going to go into our um, base. I'm going to start a base of our curry there. Nice. So, we've got some uh, onions. I know. So, a lot of onion. That's good. A lot of onion. It's good, unless you're allergic to it. No. It's not good. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to dice it up, and then we're going to start sweating it down in the uh, wok. So, two things to do today, Mike. Keep your eye on the coriander seeds. Yes. Uh, you can pop some oil in the wok. And you can start cooking these onions. Okay, oil in the wok. <laughs> Mustard already. I know. <laughs> I can barely string a sentence together on Thursdays. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that goes in. Yeah. So we'll get we'll get a little bit more heat in there. We just want to we just want to sweat it down. So just control that heat. Just bring mm -hmm. out the flavours of the onions. Nice. And uh, you know, quite a lot of onion here, but this is going to be the base of the sauce. You right. Know? So we're actually going to make all this. Okay. Right. So they're toasting. And uh, we'll start getting those cooked down a little bit. So oh, yeah, I can hear it. She's yeah, a little, starting to little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Nice. And then a spoon for you. Thank you. All right, toasty. So you're getting a bit of colour on them. You can sort of start smelling them now, can't you? Yeah, no, they smell good. And then we're just going to put it in a mortar and pestle. And just give them a light crush, you know. It's quite nice as well once you once you toast these and you get a bit of colour on them. If you leave them whole in your curry, as you're eating your curry, you sort of bite on them and you get these nice little sort of textured crispy bits. Oh. And then you get this really beautiful like orange hit. Oh. So you can leave them whole if you want or just crush them down a little bit if you don't want to, um, you know, have all those things popping in your face. Oh, it sounds good though. But, but smell that now. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah orange oh, that nice there. orange. Yes, you're right. This right, an explosion of flavour every now and again, I guess. We can't have a curry without flavour, can we? No. So and what are we going to put in there? Chili and garlic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right, so I've got some garlic, so I'm just going to slice it nice and thin. And we're going to get all the aromats in here now. And you want to, so the whole idea is get them all in, put them all in different stages, but just keep that sort of, you know, that nice medium heat and just extract all the flavours from every ingredient. Okay, right, cool. Right, so a couple of red chilies. we'll pop those in. Nice. These are pretty big chunks of garlic. Yeah, thin slices. <laughs> thin slices. Flavour, mate. I'm the okay. chef. <laughs> you are the chef, and I'm just the. Well, actually, topper. so there's so there's a couple of options now. So yes. we, so obviously start start it off like this. So you can either leave the curry, um, you know, just chop everything up and cook it down and leave it quite chunky, you know, so you've got nice mm -hmm. sort of texture throughout the uh, curry if you want. Yes. Or you can do this stage. Mm. And we're going to add all the tomatoes and ginger in and everything. And then you can blend it if you want. Or you get the stick blender in there and do it sort of halfway. Um, and then have a bit more of a, a, a smoother curry, if you know what I mean. Okay. So, yeah. so it's entirely up to you, you know. And, and that's the whole thing about cooking. Whatever, however you want to eat it, you can do it. I'm going to put a little bit of the coriander seeds in now. Uh, some ginger. Just going to peel that. Pop that in, you know. Chop it up. Um, or grate it, you know, that's that's a really easy way of doing ginger. Nice. Just grate it, but we'll just chop it now. Everything is smelling good. Make this tonight and then pack it in your lunch when you're going on your Fuller's Day trip. It's one of those fantastic islands. <laughs> Yum. Okay. You're not allowed to bring seeds. Oh, you're trying. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. Take the coriander out. You were listening. Yeah, you were good. <laughs> Have you ever been to one of those islands? No, no, but they look amazing. No, and you, know? you know, it's interesting because they are, you know, especially for Aucklanders, right on the back doorstep, and a lot of the time we forget about them. So I really appreciated that before. I know. Yeah, we always we always end up going to Waiheke. Yeah, there you the, go. Wi the wineries. Well, <laughs> <laughs> but it's well, yeah, no, but it's nice to go. Uh, no, we went to uh, Rangitoto. That was awesome. There you go. You know, and that was uh, that was great. You know, great walk and then uh, look out at the top. That was brilliant. Nice work. Well, wow. speaking of trips, we're going to trip on out of the kitchen for a minute, and we will come back and show you the next. Next stage using the monkfish straight after we check in with Holly. We are back in the Beko kitchen. It's a Thai curry time. Things are smelling delicious here. So we've got our base going and you've added some tomatoes in yeah, the Yeah, so, so we've just got some fresh tomatoes in there. So yeah. 
get a nice dice of tomatoes and what we're going to do is we're going to cook it down that's mm. going to give us some fresh flavors a little bit of acidity and um, you know just really Ooh. draw out all those other flavors so just sort of slice it dice it and then that goes in nice it smells so good yeah and then we want you know we want to just cook and cook this down cook this down once the heat hits the tomato you know it'll start breaking down and right um, get all that liquid coming out and then concentrate Beautiful. that flavor Okay, right, nice. and then we've got. Uh, now we're going to start adding some um, uh, ingredients in here. So Thai fish curry. We've got a nice uh, fish sauce in there, so that's going to give us a nice depth of uh, uh, flavour and saltiness. We've got a little bit of sugar as well, just to balance that off, and just mm. to sort of tone down those chilies. And then we've got some tamarind, some tamarind paste that goes in there. You know what tamarind is? No. Is it right. It's so a plant. <laughs> it is. Uh, well, it's a tree. It's a okay. tree, and the tamarind is an actual pod. And then you, you take out the stuff in the side and then mash it up and it's got this beautiful uh, sweet and sour flavour to it. Oh, nice. And what else would you use tamarind in? All sorts of cooking? Oh, it's, I mean, it's in everything. It's in, it's in um, cuisines, cooking cuisines from all over the world, you know. That's why we've got Orig you, Mark. Originally from Africa. Yeah. But then now it's cultivated all over the world. And you can use the wood as well from the tree to carve. It's wow. fantastic. Yeah. I've been on Google. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That was me yesterday. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so you can play that game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then we've got a little bit of coconut cream in there as well. So mm. pop that in and we're just going to cook that down a bit. Okay. Get all those flavours into the cream, sort of reduce the sauce a little bit. And then we've got our monkfish. Nice. So as I was saying earlier, monkfish <laughs> looks very ugly when it's sitting at the bottom of the ocean, but it looks quite <laughs> nice when it's cut up like yeah, this. Yeah. Kind of like texture of lobster, I would, you know, that's well, what I like is, about it. Yeah, mm. it's uh, a poor man's lobster monkfish. There you because go. Because it, it lives on the bottom and it eats all the crayfish. There you go. Yep. So, no, the texture's really nice, and it's a nice, solid piece of meat to work yeah, with. Yeah, beautiful, and it's nice and meaty as well. And it's very affordable. Very affordable, and it's beautiful as well. It's, and, and in the UK, we use a lot of monkfish, and it's, you know, it's not cheap, and it's quite uh, highly sought after. Right. So it's really good. No, this is good. I'm pleased we're using the monkfish. Because so, sometimes you're at the supermarket or you're at the fish place and you're like, oh, I don't know what fish to use. So I'm just going to take your lead and use this <laughs> no, use it's, monkfish. It's, it's, a, it's a brilliant fish. You know, you should, if you've not tried it, you should go out and try it. And especially like with the curry with lots of flavours in there, you know, it really sort of stands up to those flavours. You know, if you put a, a snapper fillet in there, you just lose it, You'd, you know, because it's such a delicate flavour. Nice. You know, you wouldn't even taste the fish. That's right. So nice, uh, nice chunky pieces. And then we're just going to drop that in. Uh, reduce the sauce a little bit, we'll drop it in and then just cook it for a sort of on a medium heat, a low medium heat for about sort of 10 minutes until the fish is uh, cooked, depending on size and thickness. Brilliant. Yeah. And that's it, that's how easy it is, you know. Nice. If you wanted a um, little bit of lemon juice at the end to finish, uh, you know, lots of fresh coriander. Um, we won't put any in today. No. <laughs> Somebody doesn't like it no. on the show, so oh, there's no think, coriander in Jesse, here. It's probably the first time ever. <laughs> He'll be very happy today. That means you're getting another coffee soon. Okay, it's going to be delicious. And of course, if you want the recipe, you can go to thecafe.co.nz. Okay, Mark, this is impressive as well because it smells delicious. Wait till you taste it. I can't wait. <laughs>